friends, it's Nancy. Welcome back to the hashtag big book of ideas. So today we're going to make a pocket that I saw on a video the other day. The creator is Wendy L. McDonald Creations. It was a video, I think from January, um, but I just caught it Monday. Uh, so her finished project is very different, but um, I'm um, the general idea came from her. So I think I'm going to start with this pocket, or sorry, this page, and it's just a book page out of a, uh, some book about birds. And I'm just going to trim off the rough edge, and then at the same time, I guess I'm measuring it, aren't I? So this is four by six. Okay. Now, I want there to be a flap at the top, but I don't want it to cover the birds too much. So if I've if I fold it just an inch from the top, I'll probably be in good shape. Probably, if I could find... Oh, there it is. So actually, I'm going to go 7 eighths. And I'm not going to press too hard because I don't want to rip it. Alright, now here's where the fun part comes. I have got... This is uh, from a cereal box. I also got one from a cookie box somewhere and I've just washed it hung it up in the laundry room to dry and um, cut it into manageable pieces for storage just gonna roughly cut a piece Give this a little better solid edge. I'm going to just score it gently. Use our glitter glue. That will dry clear. I want the top of this pocket to be covered. Covered by the, the flap, I mean. So I'm just going to run a bead. Pop 
pop it on like that. Now the next step I'm going to do is sew around this edge. Um, if you don't sew, you can hand sew it. You can leave it like it is. Um, but I like the look of sewing. And I'm just wondering if I want to sew around this as well. And probably I will want a rounded corner. So let me get my corner rounder. Of course, if you wanted this inked, it should have been done before the cereal bag was um, attached. Okay, hang on. All right, so I'm just gonna press the stitches down just to make it look a little more finished, better. Um, finished product and trim away the excess. keep those little scraps. Okay. Um, let's put a little scrap of something there. And maybe... And then I'll put maybe a word on there. I'm going to cut that down just a smidge so that a little of that blue paper shows. have some stamped words here, I think. That might be too big, but there's a lovely. These are just offcuts uh, of tea dyed paper. Um, that I've stamped. <laughs> Thank you. 
I tore it too small. I need more paper around the word. Let's try them all. <laughs> All right, I need to um, need to ink that. There it is. Now, got a couple things we can do. So I would uh, put a like um, ephemera that I wanted to use in my journal in here, and then this could just be pinned in. This could also be uh, a floating pocket and with some journaling space on the back. Um, this could be glued down and be a, a, a double pocket. Lots of opportunities here. I want to do some more, but first we're going to finish off this journal and then we'll get out some more paper. Okay, so this is settled in here now. Um, I'm going to use PVA again. I don't have my brush. Got my brush. I want to make sure that this doubled area gets stuck good. Um, I'll do the exact same on the other side and then when that's dry I'm going to glue down the inside cover. Okay. I have a whole bunch of options to show you. 
So of course this this is uh, from the oh Henry something or other book <laughs> Victorian Flower Garden I I can't remember. Um, so I think I will do a long tall pocket. I'm gonna cut off this piece. I don't I don't particularly care for that one. And this is a nice heavy paper. So that will be one. This one is a, a two pieces of, or a full folio of an old seed catalog. I've glued it together because the paper is super fragile. I'm just going to trim off the margins. So this one's also going to be long and tall. Okay. This one, um, I'm going to shrink this down a bit. I don't, this came out of a paperback, so it's smaller than the regulation Edith Holden pages that come from the hardcover. Um, but this is good use for those pages because they, they're they individually glued in. They're not sewn in like uh, folios in the hardcover. So I'm just taking those words off because I want to narrow this down a bit. I'll keep, keep the bird's tail. I do like those sheep. I'm just going to take a fraction of a whisker off. Oh, I moved it, didn't I? This one is a picture from a book. A painting is called The Young Gleaner. I am going to... I've glued it to a piece of old book page just to give her a little more oomph. This is a Paul Peel. Well, he is an artist that came from London, Ontario. This one I won't fold the top because I want to keep the whole the hat. one is a book um, a book page I fussy cut out this octopus and glued it on top so I am just going to trim off the margins
maybe the bottom as well. Oh. I'm slipping. It's all my fault because I'm thinking about the next thing. All right, um, this time I've got wallpaper and I've glued it to a piece of file folder because uh, it's um, curly. Now, for this one, I'm going to do something slightly different. Instead of using um, the cereal box liner, I'm going to use a piece of lace. cut that out uh, as I'm thinking and then I had another piece of lace somewhere there it is so I thought I would stitch that down and then glue this to the back and it will flop over what do you think you think that's a good idea? Okay, I'm with you on this one. Give that one over there to sew. This one, I think I will do a rather, rather largest fold. Trim that margin off. So this book came from um, the Water Babies, has the original illustrations. Um, I'm wondering if I want to ink this. think about it. This one I'm not going to put um, a fold in at all. This one. What's on the opposite side? Oh, just words.
that one needs some ink. And this one. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so um, let me do some inking. I will apply the bags just like I did on the first one and uh, give them a sew. We'll come back and complete the decoration. All right, so I've cut out some stuff. I've inked some stuff so you don't have to watch that uh, boring bits. Just um, I'm gonna start decorating. So I don't think this is gonna actually. I take just a little fraction more off. That might fit. This is a picture from a magazine. Over there. Oh, rusty pin. This came from a book. I have this little, also from a magazine. Okay. Okay, what am I gonna do with this one? I've got a box here, a little box of Edith Holden snippy bits. Not sure that I have anything that will do what I want it to do. That might work. I actually have this one. It's all about the same size, but it's this the color is more correct. I don't think I'll put anything there.
Actually, I like that. I'm going to fussy cut. I've got that down. I've got, I found this little daisy and I thought I would put that right there and a little bird can be hiding under it. I haven't had my Edith Holden stuff out for a long time. one we already did. I was looking at it thinking I might want to add something else to it. Um, this one I'm on the fence about. I thought maybe I'd look and see what was up here in Tim Holtz land. I don't know when I'm why I'm in love with that so much. No, no, Nancy, that's not going to work. Be gone.
All right, that's working for me. Just having a quick look in case there's anything else in here I'd like to use. Get myself re-familiarized with what's in this box. First and foremost, you can't be white. Got a new coffee maker the other day and it's working good. Our water is so, so, so hard here. <clears throat> it's one thing I miss about my hometown is the water. We had lake water there. Here, I don't know where they get it. Um, but uh, it a coffee maker rarely lasts us a year. <laughs> Even like deep scaling it over and over repeatedly. Oh, you're a beaut. I don't want to do anything to you. So I won't. And then there's this one. Also not doing anything. This one, I this is a sampool stencil. I think it's Forget me not something. Can't remember. So I did that. It's dry. And what I thought I would do is just put this up at the top. Um, Water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. Can't find a ruler.
I'm going to put it down there. I don't think I want to add anything else to that. I don't want to add color. No, I'm not going to do anything. Okay, move this. Let's get our journal back. how I might want to put this. I think I'll put it down in that corner. And I'll just glue on two sides. Where's my pencil? So I had <clears throat> just gonna write down in here inspired. Wendy L. McDonald Creations. Um, I'm going to mention that um, this layer is a cereal box liner. And today's date. All right. I like it. All right. All right. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you thought this project was fun. Do you want to have one more look? back again soon and we will do another idea for the hashtag big book of ideas take care talk to you again soon bye bye mm -hmm.